guys, um, I just got home, so I will give you a tour of our little trailer, our mobile home. So this is actually our new kitchen, still under construction, I would say, because we move our kitchen from the old uh, place over there by the bedroom. And it would be smart to do if we will put our kitchen here by our living room this is our living room over here okay so when as i walk into this place it's very cold so i think we run out of heating fuel this is our heater over here where's our heater inside our storeroom where, where, where are you heater? So that's our heater. It's running right now, but for some reason it's pretty cold. So I bet we run out of heating fuel. So we will check our thermostat. This is our old kitchen, guys. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a mess. So this is our thermostat. If you can see that one, this is Rodney's mask. <laughs> So it says 55 degrees right now here. So I have to check our fuel tank if we have enough fuel. Otherwise, we will go get fuel in Sardo. Okay? All right. See you guys later. So I'm outside our trailer, our mobile home. It's already 7.35 in the evening, guys, and look at that, we're still daylight. Yeah, we're gaining daylight every day. Soon it will be 24 hours daylight. So this one here is our fuel tank. That way. Okay, and as you can see, we I have a stick over here. So I'm going to measure how much fuel we got inside first we just open this one all right and put it down all right okay now I take it off so uh, I think we only have like 30 or 26 gallons 22 gallons yeah so, yep, I think it's not enough, and we should go get some fuel. Otherwise, we would be freezing dead today, I mean tonight. All right, and tomorrow I have to go to, back to work, so it would be better to uh, go get uh, getting fuel tonight than tomorrow. Okay, so I will wait for Rodney because he's got a big uh, 50 gallons barrel and we're using that one to fetch water before I do it myself using this three you call it jug yeah but not right now because Rodney has a 50 gallons barrel okay guys I'll take you to Sardo later okay or I don't know if it's Sardo it's just like a a heating fuel Whatever you call it. <laughs> See you there. Hi. Bye. Say hi. Hey guys, we're here. <laughs> Fetching fuel. I mean, hitting fuel. And that's Rodney there. Yeah, we should pay. And that is a big 55, 50 or 55. You said 55 gallon. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the airport gas. Sorry, airport gas. It's not Sardo. So it's already 8.55 and yeah, it's getting dark right now. All right, so I will go up there.
It's about 100 pesos in the Philippines. 100 per gallon. That's a heating fuel. And that's how our life here in Alaska. All right. So it's pumping now. Say hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's shy. He kind of like preferred to show his butt than to show his face. <laughs> That's all goes, my ass. So right now it's oh my god, it won't show. Okay, I hope you can see that guys. It's already 55 57, 58 gallons for 20. Oh wait a minute. Where is the money here? This one is the dollar. <laughs> So it's 29 gallons and it's already 68 dollars. Now 72 dollars, 73 dollars for 32 gallons. What? <laughs> what? 85, 86, 87, 88 dollars for 39. We're almost there. Yeah, it's gonna stop by 98. Because we only put, we will we will only put how much? 98. And it will slowly pump, still pumping, right? Until yeah. it reaches 99. They don't want to give you an ounce of extra fuel. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost done. <laughs> what? I don't want to show that butt. Show my butt. Oh my god, it's really too cold. Oh, do you know how? what is the temperature today? Uh, no. Alright, so we're done. All we have to do is to... Where is that? I think we're done, right? No, oh, it's still pumping. So pump it until it reach $100. There you go, almost there, 96, 97, 98, 100. 100 dollars, guys, for 43 gallons of heating fuel. It's your last one, by the way. Yeah, okay, so we will go now, we will go home now and dump this heating fuel in our fuel tank. And I'm really, really cold. See you there at home. <laughs> so, oh okay, um, so we're home. It's pretty dark. It's already 9:30. We have we picked up a pizza, and now we're going to dump our fuel. Here comes Rodney. enough look at this you're still way too far <clears throat>
pumping the fuel now to our heating heat uh, what you call that fuel tank. Yeah. Did it hurt? Let me see how you do it. Uh, oh, it's stiff as I don't know what because it's cool. Alright, and there's kind of like a faucet in there. And there you go. Yep. So we have to wait and I go back to to the car. Inside. Because I am freezing. Alright. I know it's seven degrees, but you know I am a warm blooded. I am I'm a Filipino from the Philippines. <laughs> okay, so I have to go back there. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right, finally it's done. Okay. All righty, so ready. Okay, do you need help? It's empty now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's empty. It's not heavy. <laughs> and then we'll just cover this with this coffee, whatever it is. It's a actually it's a coffee can just to cover it. Okay. And there you go. So at least we have a heating fuel for. This is already good for. For, I think for a hundred dollars whatever one week that's all and yeah okay you stay out here I'm going inside all right so no problem I'll just take a video of you I'll just walk to the oh I'm so excited I'm so tired I would like to rest and we have a nice sitting. Oh, by the way, our light has a sensor. So as we approach in our porch, it will automatically turn on. Oops, it's too dark. All right there. Okay. So hi guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. We have enough heating fuel and that's good for one week. Thank you guys, bye bye.